Good Friday night. Welcome to another edition of the Planners EMC pregame show. I'm Bart Kemp. I'm here with head coach Ron Duncan. SQ Roberts doing the camera work behind us. Coach, we're in this brand new $4.6 million field, uh, field tonight. Uh, we're at Claxton, a big region game with a lot of playoff seeding implications. Yeah, I mean, uh, we haven't talked much about playoff seeding. Yeah, you know, it, 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 it's want to play our best and uh, you know I feel like we're close and we're, we've gotten a little bit close the last few weeks put it together and uh, been able to come away uh, with a win you know last week gets a little lit you know and, and certainly want to play our best going into this game as well um, you know class has got a, a good team and, and and trying to figure out how we can handle them when we be big and uh, we're talking we talk about our youth all the time, but also, we've got some healthy young people back this week. Last week, we did what we did with two or three people hurt. Yeah, I mean, it, this should be as close as we will have been to kind of full speed in a, in a while. Uh, so, you know, certainly glad to get, get our offensive lineman back healthy. I think uh, we'll have all, we should have all of them back uh, Friday night or tonight. So, uh, looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish. Well, let's talk offense. Last week, we kind of kept, kept it close to the vest, made some passes, nothing new really. Uh, successful, now you get that offensive line back as much as you're going to get it back, the same backfield again, nobody new got his hurt there. Uh, what are we going to look at tonight offensively? Well, yeah, we, we, we tried some, a couple different things against Brian Cannon because we felt like we, it was our only shot. Uh, a lot of those kind of backfired. So last week we kind of went back to the basics and, and uh, you'll see more of that tonight. Um, you know, we, we were always going to need to plan and work, even though sometimes it doesn't look like it. But, um, you know, our, there, there are always little subtle changes that, you know, are hard to kind of pick up. But there are little things that we, we try to do different every single week and, and add and take away and change how we do things. But I think you'll see pretty standard, you know, Scrubby County football, what you've been accustomed to for most of the last 12 years uh, again tonight. And, um, and hope we can, we can eliminate offensive penalties and hang on to football. And Flaxton's defense, uh, big, quick, what, what's the story? Well, they, they got some size up front, and, and you know, Clax is always very athletic, and, and they, they they base out of a 3-3 stack, and, um, you know, they bring a, a, some pressure, but, um, you know, I, I think it's a it's a defense that we can have some success with if we take care of what we're, what we're trying to do. And, uh, like I said, limit our penalties and, and, and limit our turnovers or eliminate those if we can. But uh, if, if we take care of the football and, and are able to establish a run again, I think it bodes well for us. All right, let's flip the ball. Uh, we're going to see a lot of formations tonight, at least three ones that they run a lot. Yeah, they, they, are, they run, it's not just formations. I mean, you can play an offense that runs a system and they can have the more formations than you have that room on your grease board to put up. But these guys are running three or four totally different philosophies and offenses. I mean, they'll be in the wishbone too tight one minute and empty spread the next and flex bone the next and spread and uh, uh, wing tee the next. So it, it's, it, it's difficult to prepare for, but you know, it, obviously if you're running, if you're doing all that, it's probably difficult to prepare as well. So. Hopefully we can. Uh, we we get. They've got pretty strong tendencies, and, and when they come out in each set, and and uh, our kids uh, seem to have grasped it and understand it, and hopefully we can continue uh, to improve like we have all year. I think since game one we really improved defensively, uh, and hopefully we can continue to play hard on that side of the football and, and create some turnovers and and uh, maybe put them behind the chain some. And this is, uh, I mean, Flaston is another smaller school like us. I believe they have a lot of kids going both ways. Like they do. They, I think they play seven both ways. and uh, they, They've got maybe a few more seniors than us. I'm not sure how many they have left. They had 11 or 12 on the roster. But, uh, you know, Claxton usually has, and, and this year is really no different. I mean, they usually have two of the better athletes on any field they step on. And, uh, you know, I think they returned to kick against us for the last three years, I believe. So, uh, we, we've got to be able to be sound in our special teams and and, um, and execute there as well. 
And uh, how are their special teams? Well, yeah, they've all, the class has always had a good kicker, and this year's no different. I think he's the same guy. I think he is a senior, I believe, I hope, because he's been kicking there forever, it seems like. Uh, but he's very steady, uh, and he, he, he can put the ball on kickoffs exactly where he wants it. And they're very consistent with how they do things, and uh, hopefully there's some things there we can take advantage of as well. And last week we didn't have to punt, which is a real good sign, and we had a little trouble. Uh, Against Brian County, I think all that's solved. Well, a lot, a lot of it's solved. I mean, you know, Brady, Brady's going to be back, long snapping, and and I, you know, I've got confidence in Luke Bowman as well. But you know, one of those wasn't necessarily on him. But you know, it was a wet ball, wet night, um, and, and we had a guy doing it for the first time, really. So, uh, but I, I think having Brady back will, will be a big lift there as well. Offensively and defensively, from Claxton. Anything on either side of the ball that particularly worries you, right? Something we hadn't seen or something. Well, I mean, they, you know, I, I don't. They can do anything, you know. And, and you're always worried about the unknown. You can't coach against ghosts. You got to prepare for what you see. And um, but you know, they, 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 they got some strong tendencies, or they like to run the football. And I told somebody the other day, I said, you know, we 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 pretty much. Believe in our tendencies, but there's some things they can do really that can hurt us. And and, uh, and and you know we've showed our defense some of those things, even though they haven't done them. But you, you can't just go making up a bunch of stuff they can do. But um, you know you know working on the screen game has been important, and we we talked about it this week. But it's not like something we've seen a whole bunch from them. But if I'm them, that's what I do. If I watch the team blitz and pressure the, the whole week before, then. You know, I, I probably would come out with a with, with a slow stream that could slow us down. So uh, those are things you've got to consider. But uh, we <clears throat> we try and coach against what we see and and, and uh, come up with a plan and go from there. Any of our particular individuals you're looking for a big game out of? I, you know, I'd like to see our office line jail. Uh, they haven't this group had not played together in four or five weeks, uh, and it's probably our the best group we can put on the field right now. Um, you know, so we, we've got the, I, I'm looking to see how they play. Uh, Tony Ball played really well at times last week. He, he's a phenomenal athlete. And I said before the season started, I think he's got a chance to be one of the best to ever play here. And I, I still believe it. And I, we saw signs of that last week, and I've seen signs of it in practice this week. So uh, I think he's gotten used to playing with the club a little bit. Hopefully he'll get that off in a, in a couple weeks. And, but, you know, to watch him him and, and, and our other guys jail and, and develop is going to be, you know, what I'm very interested in watching tonight and, and, and making sure we get, you know, get our fullback going in the run game and our tailback going in the run game and then uh, all, uh, afford our quarterback to be able to throw the ball and, uh, you know, by, by providing for protection. So that, that's what I'd like to see and, and to play a clean game, you know, and, and have fun and, and, and hopefully come away with a win. And speaking of the offensive line, I was just running through my head. I know they're in a little bit different positions, but I think we're back to the lineup on the line from Bacon County, aren't we? I, I think so. I, it, like, I think there's been some position changes. And I know we moved our guards to tackles and our center to guard and then to tackle because you know, it was like Tuesday this week in breaks. And Coach, uh, this is my first time playing left tackle. And I was like, okay, well, that's where uh, he, he was playing. When we moved the guards, the tackles to guards, we moved Braden to center So from guard. So uh, everybody else has at least played their position, and, and Braden is now getting his first opportunity to play uh, at left tackle. And uh, I'm excited to see what he does. And it's great to have those five kids because growing up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, none of them are seniors, and, and uh, excited to see what they can do uh, together. And, uh, you know, the rest of this year and, and next year and, and most of the couple of them here, the next year after that. So, um, you know, when you got a young bunch, watch them develop is, is one of the biggest joys in coaching. And we wanted to give a plug to our middle school. Yeah, team. yeah. Uh, we won't know when we film this what happened, but they're playing for the championship. They played for the championship last night and uh, certainly proud of them. It's, a, it's another excellent bunch. And that, that gives us three or four solid classes in a row. Uh, that we can build on next year and in the, in the years in the future. And uh, I, I think we've got another good group coming uh, a little bit younger than that. So certainly excited about their development, watching them play and, and grow and, and when they get here and, and uh, becoming future Gamecocks. And folks, me, in my mind, and again, we emphasize it a lot, realize that the 
there's light at the end of the tunnel. No, it, there is, and you know, it, it's it happens, and and when you're in a small community, you go through these cycles, and we're fixing a cycle in, and I, I I've never been more excited uh, about where we're heading, and our, our program is on firm foundation, and our kids have still bought in every day this year, and. With the adversity that we faced early on, it's been difficult. With the injuries and the adversity we faced in the middle of the year, it's been difficult. But uh, our kid, kids have persevered, and to me, that's what football teaches you. And uh, certainly glad to, to get some wins, and hopefully we can get a few more. And uh, but, but certainly glad to see the progress that we've made, and, and uh, excited about the future. Coach, anything else? No, I think you summed it up. There we go. Well. You've been listening to the Planners EMC pregame show. I'm Barton Kemp here with head coach Ron Duncan, SQ Roberts doing the camera work. Uh, we're not long at all away from kickoff uh, at Claxton High School.